The Talking Points memo this evening is about the anti-Israel demonstrations on some college campuses. We're going to advance the story tonight for you. I know you've heard a lot about it. So last night, police officers uh, in riot gear entered Columbia University's main campus in New York City and cleared Hamilton Hall, named after Alexander, uh, of a group who had broken in, occupied it the night before. That happened about 9 p.m. Um, Fox News took it live. Um, so a lot of you know what happened. Uh, the cops uh, cleared the hall in less than two hours. Nobody was hurt. Great job by the NYPD as usual. And now uh, the encampments, all the tents paid for by outside uh, agitators, are been, have been removed from Columbia as well. So 109 were arrested. Um, it'd be interesting to know how many of those are students because there has been a flood of anarchists, Antifa, you know them, coming into these colleges. I'd, I'd love to know the delineation of the arrests, and we will try to get it for you tomorrow. Cops are pretty good with us in New York. So I want to know how many of the 109 were students and how many agitators. Very simple. I'm a simple man. Okay. So the police go, hey, you know, we're going to charge him with uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and they're in a lot of trouble. Um, they're going to be charged with uh, violations of privacy and uh, destruction of property and, and all of this stuff. But none of them, I believe, will be prosecuted by Alvin Bragg, the DA of Manhattan. They'll be arrested. They'll be booked. But in the long run, all the charges will be dropped. We're going to monitor that. I may be wrong, maybe a few. But remember, the George Floyd riots, less than 5% of the violent rioters and looters were prosecuted. That's why all this is happening, because they know, the anarchists know, you can get away with it. And if anybody's expelled in Colombia, I'll be surprised. So on the other side of the country, UCLA, they had a problem last night as well. Uh, counter demonstrators showed up there and they got in a fight with the uh, anti-Israel demonstrators. Um, violence, but no arrest. Cops, I understand, didn't do anything. They let the violence unfold. They let the people slug it out. I, I wasn't there. That This is a secondhand report I'm giving you now. Can't vouch for it. That's what I was told. Uh, could be wrong. But no arrests. But again, even if they were arrested, they're not going to get prosecuted in L.A. or New York or San Francisco or Chicago or Baltimore or St. Louis, on and on and on and on. That's why this is happening. All right, here are the worst colleges for the demonstrations. UCLA, Columbia, University of Texas, Tulane, Yale, USC, Southern California, Northeastern, George Washington, Loyola, New Orleans, MIT, Emerson, Boston, University of Mary, Washington, Fredericksburg, Virginia, never even heard of that. Portland State, Arizona State, University of Indiana, Washington University in St. Louis. They're the hotbeds. All of those schools are run by leftists. There's one thing they have in common. Um, so the Columbia president, Minu Shufi, Put her picture up. There's me, no. How you doing, Nui Moon? Yeah? All right, she is the reason why all of this chaos broke out of Columbia. Because at the University of Florida, the Gators, Gainesville, Ben Sass, former senator, I believe from Nebraska, he's a president of the university. And he said, eh, if you do this, you're expelled. So all of a sudden, none of the kids did it. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings, against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio 
into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.